So we want to set the input color space to Rec 2020 because that's the color space that iPhones shoot in when using ProRes Apple Log. Set input gamma to Apple Log. Output color space, we're gonna to switch to DaVinci Wide Gamut and the output gamma to DaVinci Intermediate. DaVinci Wide Gamut gives you this bigger color space to work in when you're making adjustments. And DaVinci Intermediate is also actually a workspace setting that gives you the most room to work with. And now switch to the post group node. And again, drag over a color space transform effect. For input color space, we wanna put DaVinci Wide Gamut. Input Gamma, we want DaVinci Intermediate. So that matches the output of the pre-group settings. And then for the output from this post-group node, we want Rec 709 for both of these output color space and gamma. So this is the color space that your video is gonna be mastered in at the end when you export. If you're editing on an Apple system, choose Rec 709A, otherwise choose the regular Rec 709 output gamma.